White Wolf on Atsikin here in uh, Vermont with uh, Element Mountain uh, Wilderness Exploratory School. And uh, I do a lot of kayaking and uh, also have uh, some family members who also do a lot of kayaking and uh, sometimes lead kayaking excursions. And so I need a good uh, kayak rack uh, for the top of my car. And anybody who's looked around for kayak racks on the internet will realize that they're pretty pricey, especially if you want something that's uh, uh, good and sturdy, uh, something that's real stable. Um, and when you read a lot of the reviews, you'll find out that a lot of the reviews say, well, this is a great kayak rack, but it doesn't fit my car. Uh, because the kayak racks have to fit on the roof racks that come with your car. And not all kayak racks are designed to fit all these roof racks. So that got me to thinking, well, you know, I should be able to build my own kayak rack. I shouldn't have to spend a lot of money building uh, this kayak rack that might not fit my car after I get it and have to spend all that time and energy shipping the thing back. So I started looking around and uh, I found this great design. Um, and, uh, well, thought I'd just share it with you here so that if you have uh, especially two kayaks, uh, you might want to try this out for yourself because uh, it can be customized. Uh, it's very inexpensive. You can do it yourself. Easy on, easy off. Um, and it's extremely durable. It'll last uh, a very long time. Uh, so let me show it to you here and see what you think. Okay, here's the design, the finished design. Uh, it's made from PVC, white PVC. Now I spray painted it so it didn't look like white PVC sticking on top of the car. Uh, so I spray painted it, it looks more like metal. Um, but uh, all it is is uh, PVC. And uh, you can see that it's designed to fit two kayaks side by side, one on the left there, one on the right. And it's got two outside bars, which come about halfway up the width of your kayak, two of them on each side. And then you have your center bars, which are the dividers between the kayaks, and they stick up above your kayaks. These stick up about 8 inches above mine, and uh, you'll see in a little bit when I have it on the roof of the car with kayaks installed in the carrier. All it is is PVC and fittings. Glued together, and like I said, spray painted. It's very lightweight, and not only is it lightweight, but it is custom made, so you can change the measurements however you want to fit whatever size roof rack you have existing on your car already. Okay, so what are you going to need to build this? Well, first thing you're going to need is PVC piping, white PVC piping. You can get it at pretty much any hardware store. Uh, very inexpensive. It comes in 10 foot lengths. Um, for the size that I have here to fit on top of a Subaru Forester, I ended up buying three 10 foot inch and a half PVC pipe lengths. So three 10 footers of inch and a half piping. Then you're going to need your fittings. And Right here, you've got your PVC T. It's called a T. Those are inch and a half T fittings. You're going to need 12 of those. Because on each side, if this is the front, and in the rear of the picture there is the back, on each side, you've got one, two, three four. So you've got four on each side. That's eight in the front and the back. And then on the sides, your left and the right, you're going to have two. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you need twelve inch and a half T's. Then you're going to need four 90 degree elbows. Right there. Inch and a half, 90 degree elbows. Four of them. 
And you're going to need those on your four corners. So one, two, three, and four. So 12 T's and four 90's. And the only other fittings you're going to need, and uh, I noticed some designs uh, that are out there, they do not include this, and um, I find it very important, especially if you live in areas where it rains. On top of all of your risers, you're going to want to put a cap. So you're going to need six inch and a half caps. One, two, three, four, and five and six. Now if you don't put those caps on and you leave this on top of your roof it's eventually going to fill with rainwater. And you don't want that. That's going to add a heck of a lot of weight. So cap each of your risers off. Six caps, four nineties, and twelve T's. Those are your fittings. Three 10 foot pieces of inch and a half pipe. That's your pipe. And then one can of PVC, white PVC glue. And that's it. That's all you need from the hardware store. Very inexpensive. And all you need to put it together is a tape measure and a hacksaw. And uh, your piping and your fittings that you bought. And so really all you have to do is measure the top of your car, measure the size of your kayaks, and then work to design your custom-made PVC pipe kayak rack. And that's what's so nice about this, because you can custom make it to fit any size car top and any size existing roof rack. And so, again, you've got a space for two kayaks to fit in this, which you'll see in a little bit. What you end up doing is you start measuring the width of your car roof rack. And this is going to be the span over your windshield. And so you're going to have your 90 degree angle a little piece of PVC, you're going to have your first T laid on its side, another piece of PVC, your second T standing upright, a little piece of PVC, your third T lying sideways, and your second 90 degree angle. That's going to be identical measurements from the front over your windshield and the rear over the back of your car. Identical measurements. Then you've got your center bars, front. And those center bars, your spacers, they're going to be whatever length your roof rack is going to be from front over the windshield and back of the car. And you're simply going to stick those into the T's on either side. And then on the sides over your doors, you've got your 90, you've got a piece of PVC, you've got a T facing up, another piece of PVC, another T facing up, another PVC piping, and another 90. Again, that's going to match the length of the roof rack from front to back on your car. And then you're going to put your risers in, those two T's, and the risers should measure halfway up. So the top of your cap should be halfway up your kayak when your kayak is standing on its side. And again you'll see that in a little bit when I show you it with the kayaks in. And again that's going to be identical measurements here and on your other side. So really you just have to measure one side each, the front and one of your sides. And the rear and your other sides will be identical measurements. So it's half the measuring. 
And then you're going to put your center risers on. This is the front. You're going to bring that up. And again, this center bar here that you see is over the top. Let's see. You'll see? So these sidebars are halfway up your kayak. Your center bar is a little bit over that. All right, I have mine about two inches over. Just connect that center bar or glue it in. That's your support between the two kayaks. And then you have your other riser that comes up. Front and back capped off. And they jut on mine, they jut about eight inches over the top of the kayaks. And that's it. That's your design. Pretty simple. Between measuring and gluing everything, measuring, cutting, and gluing everything, took me about a half hour to put this together. Not very long at all. A few dollars in materials. And then afterwards I just... Uh, Put a couple coats of spray paint on so it wasn't uh, glaring white PVC. And that's it. That's the design. And once it's all together, uh, you know, it's PVC. Hollow PVC. So you can see it's, you know, very lightweight. Doesn't add a whole lot of weight to your car at all. But it's extremely sturdy because it's inch and a half PVC. And uh, once you put it together, you know, you can easily lift this up and set it on top of your car. Tie down your corners to your existing roof rack. Slide your kayaks in. And that's it. Away you go. And when you're not having your uh, kayaks on top of the car, when you don't need it, take this off, store it wherever you want. Uh, it's PVC. You can store it outside if you want. Obviously waterproof. You've capped it all off. Uh, so no water can get in. It's watertight. Um, or in your garage, basement, whatever you want. So, let's put it on top of the car and I'll show you uh, what it looks like uh, with the kayaks on. And so, here it is on top of the car, all put together. And again, I have uh, a wooden roof rack on top of the uh, roof rack that came with the car. Because I carry uh, an 18 foot canoe on top of here as well, and the wooden roof rack works really well for that. And so I custom made the PVC pipe rack to fit inside the wooden rack. Uh, and so I just have to uh, tie down the PVC pipe rack to the wooden rack, and I'm all set. Uh, you can see here how I just fit the PVC rack right on top of the uh, wooden roof rack. And I just used uh, rope to tie down the four corners, nice and simple. You can use whatever kind of strapping you have so long as it's sturdy enough to hold the, uh, the weight of the, uh, the kayaks you're going to put on uh, along with the uh, pressure going to endure while you're driving. Here you can see you got your double spacing there, one with the kayak obviously and one without the kayak. Got the outer bar so they pretty much come halfway up the width of the kayak when it's standing on end. Makes it nice and secure. And you can see my center pole about eight inches above the uh, top edge of the kayak, which gives it plenty of room. And I've got those little foam, uh, foam floaty things. Uh, you don't need those, I have those. 
because I've got the uh, wooden roof rack underneath the PVC pipe roof rack and so when I clamp the, uh, the kayak down I don't want the, um, the pressure uh, wearing away on the edge of the kayak on the roof uh, the wooden roof rack there so I just put the foam things down there keep the uh, edges of the kayak protected from the wood but you can use those if you need to or not So there you have it, uh, a double kayak holder, do it yourself, uh, nice and inexpensive, uh, easy to construct, go to the hardware store, get your bits and pieces, bring it back, you know, do your measuring, uh, do your cutting, piece it together, glue it together, and you've got it. Uh, easy on, easy off, easy to store, um, and you know, you can customize it, you know, um, to the size of your kayaks, because obviously, you know, kayaks come in all different sizes these days. Um, not so much the length that you have to worry about, uh, just the, um, the actual depth of the kayak. Uh, that's what your main concern is. Um, you know, your width as well, because your sidebars here, they can uh, obviously be cut uh, larger or shorter, depending on the, uh, the width of the kayak. Uh, and the space between the sidebars and the middle bars can be uh, changed for the depth of the kayak.